so much to share. I don't even know where to start. I know where I'll start. I'll start by telling you this is the third time I filmed this video. <laughs> First time my husband called and it interrupted the process. The second time I realized as I was explaining how my husband ruined the first video, I was really angry. So I took a second. Here I am. Listen, I have some cool things to share so I wrote it on a napkin because it's so important. Number one, I'm out of storage space on my laptop. Is that a thing? Well, I didn't, I assumed I could just keep putting things into my laptop like footage and it would just take it. Apparently not. Apparently my computer has a limit <laughs> and I've reached it. So I'm Googling how to fix that. I hear there's something like an external hard drive. Mm. Uh, okay, so you know I have a small business, yes? If not, hi, my name is Jess. You know nothing about me. I have a regular full-time job Monday through Friday, eight to five, but I have my own small business on the side. This little small business of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Like it's actually working out really great. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm thinking about this because today I met with a new client and they booked my business. Woo -woo. And so I'm really pumped about it. Mm -hmm. I just needed to share it. However, in the course of our conversation, she kind of asked me how old I was, kind of, um, in the not so roundabout way. And then I told her, but in my head, I was like, mm, mm, technically in California, this is an illegal line of questioning because it's employment Law, you can't be asking me how old I am, son. But that's my professional life talking. <laughs> I told her I was 25. <laughs> no, I'm not. And, uh, oh, tomorrow I'm going out, like, to dance or something. And I don't know, uh, I don't know if I know how to anymore. You know, I used to be the best dancer that I ever met, <laughs> to be modest about it. I just like, I have a lot of rhythm, you see, can you tell? And I like to shake my shoulders a lot, uh-huh, uh-huh. I can keep tempo with the beat, and I can nay-nay, uh-huh. Um, and I haven't been out dancing in several years. <laughs> I need to go more often, I think, but my husband's not a dancer, so it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm going tomorrow, and I'm excited about it. The only bummer is, I feel like maybe because now that I'm a little older, Hurts to say that. We'll just say now that I'm not in my 20s. Uh, whenever I go out, I feel like it's everyone's 21st birthday. And they want to tell me about their adios drink right now. And I don't, I don't, I cannot. Okay. So I need to try to go have a great time and not be bothered by the fact that I feel like the oldest person in the room. And that people are just way too loud. <laughs> and the music is like, turn the bass down, please. It'll be a really fun experience. I, you can't tell, but I'm really excited about it and I'm gonna have a great time. What else is on my little mm, professional napkin here? <laughs> oh, start spreading the news. We're leaving in December. We're going to New York again. What? We went last October. It was a surprise for my husband for his birthday. I said, hey, surprise, we're going to New York. Ah, this year it's planned. So we're going in December, which means it'll be cold and not like San Diego cold, you know, because 50 degrees to me is like not appropriate. It's going to be like 30. Maybe it'll be 20. Maybe it's going to snow. <laughs> oh, I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm concerned for my thyroid. Like what if it freezes? I'm concerned for, uh, uh. Uh, my happiness. What if I'm so cold? I'm miserable. What if it, here's the worst part. What if it just rains the whole time? Then it's cold, freezing rain. I guess I'm just gonna have to bundle up. I thought about buying one of those like uh, masks, you know, that people use to rob stores with. They're really warm and comfortable, I imagine, because they fit snugly over your face and they only have holes for your eyeballs and for your mouth. That's all I really need is is a, a, a robber mask. Hmm, where, where does one find a robber's mask? I'm gonna think about this. Online, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> hmm, but probably not a good thing to be in my search history. Google, uh, I'll ask Siri. Siri, Google robber's mask. Where can I buy one? <laughs> 
I just, you know, you know, I'm not like, oh, I'm, I am from San Diego and being super duper cold is not in my history of life, but it'll be just fine. I'm going to buy a super cute petticoat and a nice big scarf and a little hat. And when I went in November, well, it wasn't cold at all, really. It was slightly chilly a little bit. I'm sorry. What is this? Simba circle of life standing on the prairie. What? Chucky. Ah, oh, Sigwenya, bubba bee, bubba. That's you, Chucky. Are you Simba, buddy? Are you looking over your territory? <laughs> oh, nope. I wasn't calling you, but that's all right. I'm so sorry. I'm distracted by my dogs. Guess what? I miss my vlogging camera. <laughs> Guess what? I don't like not editing. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get on that sometime soon. <laughs> what is she doing? Can you see her? What are you doing, Allie? You're being a little creepy. Oh, my little creepy dog. My little creepy girl. I love you. I love you. Allie, my finger's in your mouth. <laughs> Sorry. All right, friends. I forgot what I was doing. I was having a good time with dog. Hey, I will... Talk to you soon. <laughs> I don't know when, like this weekend, I hope. I'll be home all by my lonesome on Saturday. So maybe we'll chitty chat then. All right, friends. You're awesome. Talk to you soon. Bye.